Hey, it's Joe. Thanks for joining us on our manufactured home tours. We love hearing from you in the comments, which often includes some concern regarding the construction of manufactured homes. And since it's storm season in Florida, I'd like to set the record straight about the legit question. Are manufactured homes safe? It's obvious that there are a lot of people who think that a site-built home like this is superior in its construction to what they consider a manufactured home. And that's absolutely true if this is their conception of a manufactured home. This is a mobile home, and they don't make those anymore. This is a manufactured home. The construction of this thing bears no resemblance to what most people are using, the pejorative trailer or whatever. And I'm not knocking a home like this. If you have a home like this, hey, I hope it's tied down correctly and everything. But manufacturers back in the day built them the way they want, and people just put them on the ground. Unfortunately, during a storm, sometimes they get blown around like lawn furniture. <laughs> but... I mean, seriously, it's no joke, and it can be dangerous. So, on June 15th, 1976, Congress passed laws, and they began to govern the construction of mobile homes, and the term manufactured home was coined. So, these are different. Um, the materials, the construction, how they deliver it, how they set it up was all regulated by either HUD or DOT. And then when you got it into your local municipality, they have their own codes. So the standards got so high that, for instance, in Florida, when you build a manufactured home, the wind load requirements exceed those of site-built homes by as much as 25%. And that's a fact, and there's no way to get around it. And contrary to fairly common misconceptions, this is not what building materials for manufactured homes consist of. <laughs> no, the reality is... Manufactured homes are constructed using the same building materials as site-built homes. They're just done in a factory, and they're under climate-controlled conditions, which is actually a benefit. So, while you've got this sturdy house built in the factory, you still have to put it on the ground. So, what keeps it from blowing away in a storm? And let's take Florida as an extreme example, because what are most manufactured homes set on in Florida? They're set on sand. Lots and lots of sand. So this is what your average pad looks like that your house gets set on. So how on earth are we gonna get the house to stay on this pad of sand? Let me show you something pretty crazy. This is the Burj Khalifa and it is located in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. It is the largest structure on planet Earth at 2,722 feet. It's subjected, along with other buildings around it, to sandstorms around 90 miles an hour. So, you might ask, what are these buildings set upon? Well, I'm glad you asked. They're set on sand. Lots and lots of sand. So, how on Earth do these structures, massive structures, that are built on sand, remain standing in hurricane force winds. I'm glad you asked. They're held in place with anchors. That's right, anchors. They're fastened to Mother Earth with nothing more than that into sand. How is that, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Simple physics. Friction. Let's make this really simple. Remember this fun toy? Put your fingers inside it. Try to pull your fingers out. Friction holds your fingers in, can't get your fingers out, start panicking, can't get them out for real. Now you got to have someone come help you, right, Carrie? Okay, so <laughs> that's friction. All right, so your beautiful home has been built very sturdily. It's been delivered to your site. It's all prepped. They got the concrete piers in. The house has been leveled, and you're ready to put the anchors into the ground. So let's see how that goes down. So the frame is attached to the strap and the strap is attached to the anchor, and this thing goes four feet in the ground. So, in the same manner as the piers holding the giant Burj Khalifa safely to the earth, this series of anchors holds modern manufactured homes securely in place. And don't take my word for it, there's plenty of real world proof. Man, there's a massive rainbow over there. How appropriate, it just stormed. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I hope we help dispel some of the prevailing myths uh, surrounding 
the construction of manufactured homes. I just gave you the facts and um, hopefully you can use that information, maybe share it with other people. But I want to leave you with some statistics that were gathered by places like the Department of uh, Transportation, the Department of Motor Vehicles and Safety. They basically oversee a lot of the construction of manufactured homes and other agencies like insurance companies and so forth. And uh, they wanted to see that after the 94 codes were enforced, what the difference was between pre-94 homes and post-94 homes as far as destruction. So in 2004, we had a major, major hurricane season. Four big hurricanes made landfall in Florida. So they gathered all the information to determine how many manufactured homes that were built post-1994 were destroyed in these storms. And their eventual tally was a zero. <laughs> there weren't any. So none of them were destroyed. And I'm not saying that manufactured homes are impervious to storms. Storms are super serious. If they tell you to get out, get out. You know, I mean, your home can be replaced. You, my friend, are irreplaceable. <laughs> and we do appreciate you and your comments. Please leave them below. Share this with your friends. And um, until next time, be safe and happy hunting.